the Board of Governors of St. Jude's Hospital is now met. Sir Danvers Carew, KBE Chairman. The Right Honourable Sir Archibald Proops, QC. The Baroness Savage. General Lord Glossop. Lady Beaconsfield. And His Grace, the Bishop of Bassingstoke. The order of business will be conducted by the Secretary to the Board of Governors. <laughs> Myself. Madam Madeline Stra. Let's get on with it. Proposal number 929, presented by Dr. Henry Jekyll. The chairman will now address the board. As governors of St. Jude's Hospital, we are well aware of the highly controversial nature of Dr. Jekyll's research. But a high regard for his work and reputation demand that he be given a proper hearing and that we now happily accord him. I won't happily accord that madman anything! Board of Governors! Distinguished Governors, I have glimpsed the future. Sin miracles that stun the mind And marvelous only signs can find To shape tomorrow for mankind And I can show them to you If you wish me to Friends, you're aware there are two sides to each of us Good and evil, compassion and hate If we could extract all the evil from each of us Think of the world that we could create A world without anger, violence or strife Where well, man wouldn't kill anymore A world of compassion where passion for life Would vanish the madness of I'm pushed to find the key to duality Chemical formulae which could and would Alter the patterns of men's personalities Guiding him either to evil or good Away the potential, the great possibilities Colleagues, dear friends, understand We have a chance to make history Dr. Jekyll, may we dispense with the niceties and proceed to the matter at hand. Each of us is the embodiment of two distinct and opposing forces, good and evil, each fighting for supremacy inside us. If we could separate these two forces we could control and ultimately eliminate all evil from mankind, my experiments have convinced me that the day is not far off when this separation will be possible. To achieve it, I must be allowed to try my formula on a living human being. And what happens if you're right, Jekyll, and you do separate good from evil? What happens to the evil? There are two broken souls in a thousand asylums left there to rot for the lack of a plan in the name of compassion and medical science I can save many lives if you give me one man I tell you now the church will never sanction on me When he says you're playing God, there's such a thing as 
over which you ride roughshod. You're adopted on our savior, Dr. Jekyll, for a start. But I judge from your behavior, you can't tell the two. Madam Stry, I am simply a scientist. I have a code to which I remain true. I don't presume to the statue of moralist. I leave pretension like that man to you. Henry, I've always encouraged your enterprise, and I've been hopeful that you would succeed. But in the face of their powerful arguments, I see no choice. For you to concede I know my fate is yours to choose But if they win, the world will lose When I am on the brink of great success I beg you, governors, you must say yes Dr. Jekyll, enough of your ranting, sir This is a hospital here to save lives Do you think we would let you play? Civilized man, who I can't you see? If I ever needed further justification for my experiments, ladies and gentlemen, you have just provided it. Just look at what has happened here. Mix anger with a touch of fear. All danger souls are crystal clear. Just look at you. Our dark and psych is breaking through. Observe now in me and you the evil that all men can do must be controlled. I beg of you, I'll show you all. It can't be done. Here is a chance to take charge of our fate. Deep down you must know that tomorrow is too late. One rule of life we cannot rearrange The only thing constant is change The only thing constant is change Distinguished Governor Hey. By six votes to none, with one abstention, proposal number 929 is rejected. Thank you for your time, Dr. Jekyll.